off-duty police details are big money in the city of New Orleans. The heavily scrutinized work was called the Aorta of Corruption by federal investigators. That prompted the NOPD to reform its policies, much to the dismay of many on the force. But the WDSUI team has learned that while New Orleans police officers claim to be losing out, other officers working in the city are cashing in. And as WDSU investigative reporter Travis Mackle explains, after we started asking questions, one police department began changing its own policies after they might have been violated. Travers? Scott, the Harbor Police Department is a state agency. Its only law enforcement goal, protect the port of New Orleans. Harbor Police has jurisdiction in three parishes all along the river from St. Bernard through Orleans and into Jefferson Parish. These officers are allowed to work details, and they do, including the Harbor Police Chief, who may be violating state laws by doing so. Hollywood South is booming. Movie sets have sprung up around the city of New Orleans. The lights, cameras, and action are plentiful. And when streets are closed, buildings need to be secured, and sites must be guarded, filmmakers look for police protection. That work is most often done by off-duty officers, and the WDSUI team has learned that police, men and women working for the Harbor Police Department, provide some of that security. Documents obtained through public records requests include handwritten notes that show officers here worked movie details off the port site. Those details were coordinated by former NOPD Deputy Superintendent Marlon DeFillo, who now runs a business connecting cops with area productions. Marlon DeFillo is a friend of mine. He was in a bind. I didn't think it was a problem to allow our offices to do stationary positions. But it is. The Harbor Police Paid Detail Rules and Regulations Handbook states officers shall only work details that are within the jurisdiction of the board. It goes on to say, since all of the paid details are within the jurisdiction of the port, the visibility enhances the safety of the area. Harbor Police Chief Robert Hecker says he oversees details that are assigned within Harbor Police jurisdiction. In some instances, he says, he allows off-site work as well. But after we started asking questions and sending requests for information about Harbor Police details back in March, Hecker stopped letting officers work off-site productions. He says the decision was unrelated to our inquiries, though the change happened less than a month after our first email went out. For that temporary period of time, I did allow our officers to go and work those stationary positions at that movie detail, but since then, we've, we've, we've brought them back in. Another change was also implemented in April. Chief Hecker himself stopped working paid details. Records show the chief, whose salary is just over $100,000, not only worked, but coordinated big money details at Mardi Gras World and at the convention center. Both of those locations are on port property. Hecker made an additional $13,000 for the off-duty work, according to department files, lucrative work he assigned to himself. Do you think you were violating any ethics laws by working details? I don't think so. But he's not sure. That's why last month, once again, after we started our inquiry, Hecker asked the State Board of Ethics to weigh in, and it won't be the first time they've taken on the extracurricular work of a chief. Previous ethics board's opinions, dating back to the 1990s, have frowned on such activity. We found the most recent one, less than two years old, advising the chief of police in Karen Crow not to take on details. Quote, the code of governmental ethics would prohibit a chief of police for a municipality from working private security details within his jurisdiction. But Hecker is right to note, his situation is different from most chiefs. He isn't elected, he's appointed and it isn't clear whether the same rules will apply to him. Port lawyers believe they may. There's nothing about appointed chiefs, but again, uh, maybe they just left the word appointed out, and just to be on the safe side, I'm, uh, I'm going to wait and get that opinion from them. What we uncovered at the port comes as City Hall in New Orleans opens the Office of Police Secondary Employment, a government office set up to run paid off-duty details for NOPD officers. Harbor police officers do not answer to that agency. Many NOPD officers are unhappy with OPSE as details are now first come first serve 
and no cop can coordinate the work. It's not right. The Fraternal Order of Police has been an outspoken critic of the office since its inception. What's taken money out of our officer's pocket is OPSC. For now, at least, Harbor Police don't have to follow the same stringent, federally mandated guidelines, even though they operate in the same parish. And records show some HPD cops are bringing in tens of thousands of dollars a year working details, mainly the cruise ship terminal and events at Mardi Gras World and the convention center. Last year alone, more than $880,000 was paid out to HPD cops for off-duty detail work. Lieutenant Antoine Furbos brought home $33,000 on top of his $58,000 salary, meaning he made about 60% of his salary working extra. Sergeant Deidre Trevine also made more than $30,000 working off-duty details. Her salary is $53,000. And Sergeant Glenn Smith, whose on-duty work pays him $47,000, made almost $30,000 working off-duty paid details. Most of that work is done handling security for inbound and outbound cruise ships. And we're grateful that they're willing to come in here on their days off to earn, and again, earn that, that salary. But a closer look at the numbers shows as many as 23 HPD officers routinely work cruise ship details. By comparison, Hecker says usually five officers are on active duty when the ships arrive and depart. So we asked, why not schedule more on-duty cops when the ships dock and push off? We've looked at the deployment with uh, port managers. We've looked at the deployment with the cruise ship uh, officials. And all have agreed that this is the best possible deployment. All detail money is paid to Harbor Police by private entities like Central Parking and the cruise ship companies. Furbos, Trevine, and Smith all coordinate some of the details, a policy that is forbidden for NOPD officers under OPSC rules, despite the Harbor Police operating inside city limits. It is incredibly unfair, it is incredibly biased in every way possible to treat our officers differently from anyone else. But Hecker says despite the recent rule changes he's implementing for himself and his department, nothing will change. So instead of this stigma that's out there about police paid details, in my opinion, we ought to embrace paid details. Records show that over the last three years, Harbor Police have made 288 arrests, 53 in 2011, 133 in 2012, and 102 last year. That's about what the NOPD makes in about two weeks. Scott? Travers, thanks. Still ahead on WDSU News at 10.